check that out. So what you're going to need for this project are your brand new pair of dog mittens! Hi everyone! The lighting is terrible. It's like at a very unflattering angle. But anyway, I didn't want to do this in my room because my room is too small for such a project. Today, I went and I bought a new pair of Doc Martens! Yes! I own very many pairs of leather boots and the most, the most, most of the leather boots I own are from Dr. Martens because they are my favorite work shoe. So I have a new pair of these and I'm going to show you how I break them in because my method weirds people out but I don't have that really uncomfortable break-in period that everybody has with Dr. Martin shoes. Dr. Martin, I can't say it. And so this is just how I do it, whether it's right or wrong, who knows, I don't care, I take responsibility, Whoa, oh my god, for my own purchases and it's worked for me to this day, so I'm just gonna keep on doing it. So in the clip, I only showed you four pairs of boots, but I have way more pairs of boots than that. I just, it's moisturizing and polishing day, and those are the only boots that I care enough about to actually maintain. For this project, you're going to need a towel, some newspaper, but I don't have newspaper, so I'm using two towels instead. Wonder Balsam from Dr. Martens or something else that is meant for cows if you don't have Wonder Balsam. I don't suggest using anything other than Wonder Balsam on your Doc Martens, but you know what? Whatever. And your brand new pair of Doc Martens. That is a water bottle. And don't forget your hammer. And that is pretty much all you need. And maybe another towel and maybe a plastic bag but I don't have those either, so we're just gonna have to improvise. The first thing you wanna do is you wanna try on your shoes. You should've tried them on at the store to make sure they at least fit you. And if they don't, then you're gonna have to return them. I don't know what to tell you. But you've got the right size, so now you have to put them on your foot to make sure that they're comfortable. And they're not going to be comfortable, but there are certain parts that are really, really uncomfortable, and those are the parts that we're gonna break in today. I just got my knee tattooed, so this is really awkward. Here we go, check that out. They are so fucking stiff, I can't do anything with them. Now, they're pretty uncomfortable only here on the tops of my feet. They're actually not too bad on the heels, which I usually have a problem with, but I can also see that this here, right, right here, this tab part, is going to dig into my leg when I walk, which is also gonna give me some problems. So those are what we're gonna target. And just because I'm not having a problem with the heel now doesn't mean I won't have a problem when I start walking. So we're just going to address that as well, just because I've had very many pairs of Doc Martens and I know that this is going to be a problem later. Check it out, I love them! Oh my god! My new shoes! So what you're going to want to do is you're going to loosen the laces like I have here and you're going to take your newspaper but since I don't have newspaper, I'm going to have to use this towel. And you're going to want to stuff the towel into the shoe. Like so. I really wish I had newspaper right now, but I uh, can't have everything, can we? So what you want to do is you want to stuff enough newspaper in here that it's super, super tight into the shoe, which is what I'm going to be doing with this towel. But it's not as easy because I don't fucking have newspaper. There, that looks good enough. So the, new, the newspaper, the newspaper or towel is in the boot and you're gonna repeat with the other shoe. Breaking a sweat. All right, now that you have this going on, um, you're going to want to take your Wonder Balsam and liberally apply it to the boot. 
Usually you only need a tiny, tiny bit, but we're breaking in the boots, so you actually need a lot of this. When you open this, it looks like this, there's a sponge inside, there is a separate compartment inside like that. Usually all you have to do is take the sponge and like tap it in here and you have enough to polish your shoe but because we're breaking in our shoe we are going to use a lot more so you're going to have to try and like scoop it um, to put on your boot. Just like that. And you, be, you might be asking why are we doing this? The shoe is brand new. We don't actually have to polish it. Well, the entire point of this is not to polish the shoe, but it's to let the blunderbuss on to absorb into the leather to soften it so that we can break it in easier. So now that you have wonder Balsam on both of your shoes, what you're going to want to do is if you have a big towel to wrap both shoes in the towel and put it in a plastic bag and put it in a warm place. I don't have a towel and I'm not about to put my new shoes in a plastic bag and have the plastic stick to them. So back into the Doc Martens bag it goes. And now I'm going to put them in a warm place, which is going to be right next to my heater for, I don't know, the longer the better, but because I'm impatient and I have to make this video, it's only going to be like half an hour. See you later. There it is, guys. That's the bag with a shirt over it so the moisture doesn't get out next to my heater, which I have turned up. See you in a bit. And we're back. So that was a little bit more than half an hour and my boots are a little bit warm to the touch because they were right next to my heater and I like turned it up, turned it up. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to start with one boot and one towel because I only have two. So I'm going to take the towel out of my other shoe. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep the towel in this shoe and I'm going to wrap the towel around the boot. And you want to make sure that the towel inside here or the newspaper that you're using is packed tight. So when you like press down on it, it should be pretty solid all around. And now what you're going to do is you're going to take your hammer and you're going to bang on your shoe just to soften it. Don't like whack it because then you will ruin your boot, and that ain't my problem, okay? This is at your own risk. Please be careful. This is a real hammer. And you also want to make sure not to hit the toe area because you will misshape the shoe that way as well. You only want to hit where you want to soften. So I'm going to start, I always start in the back. And as you're doing this, you want to make sure the towel is on the shoe because if it's not you can actually mark up your shoe. And I keep saying shoe but I mean boot. You know what it you know what I mean. And then you want to hit it from all angles, not just one. Now that you have both shoes done, they're shiny and beautiful, now you're going to want to put them on. Alright, here it is. I pop the tongues so that they're like not pressed against my legs. They are ever so slightly more comfortable because now they're not like all up on the tops of my feet. The backs still bother me, but that's going to be with time. So obviously if you hammer them more, they get softer, but that hammer is heavy and I am a weak little girl, so we're not going to hammer anymore. But they are a lot more comfortable and by a lot, I mean 
a little, at least before it like hurt when I was just wearing them. But now they don't hurt. They're not, the leather isn't like pressing up against the top of my foot, which is all I really want out of this. So this is fine. And now what you do is you exercise in them. <laughs> that sounds silly, but I don't mean actual exercise. What I mean is you stand up on your tippy toes and then you go down. And you stand up on your tippy toes and you go down. And then you bend all the way down and you like squat in them. So then it loosens up the leather a little more. And you want to do this now when the leather is still soft from you kind of putting the Wonder Balsam all over them and then sticking them in a bag in a warm place because once the leather like dries up and hardens, the window of opportunity is gone. So honestly, I literally squat like this and I know it's very Asian of me, but it stretches out the leather a little bit more. And then I'll go on my toes just so it stretches out the leather and I am sitting on my heels. This is how hard Doc Martens are. You could sit on them and it's not, still not bending out of shape. And you literally just roll back and forth on your tiptoes a lot. And that softens it up a little bit more. And you just keep doing it. And that is pretty much how I break in my Doc Martens. I don't have terrible scars all over me from wearing brand new Doc Martens and people do wonder why. And this is how I do it. It might seem silly to some people, but this is what works for me. And I mean, hello, I have so many pairs of leather boots and I've broken all of them in and they are all a-okay. And that's how I do it. So. Hope this helps someone, and if it doesn't, then, well, whatever. But if it did help, awesome, let me know. Hopefully you don't destroy your boots by doing what I did to them. Please be careful. So, until next time, see you guys later. Bye.